Hi guys, Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. You ever wonder what a pasture should look like when you leave it? I'm going to show you today what I consider a perfect graze. Let's get the cows moved and we'll take a look. We have the cows on the wettest piece of land that we own. It's armoire soil. We had a soil scientist come to the farm one time and we told him we had some armoire soil. And he said that that soil was pretty crappy soil. So, but it can be productive. You just have to manage it properly. We've limed and we've reseeded this. It has come back into sedges. It's full of yellow sedge. It's so thick you can't hardly walk in it. I apologize for that noisy dog. It's the neighbor's dog, but I wanted to make a video here. So it's so thick you can't hardly walk through it. There's a lot of tonnage here. There's fescue, timothy, velvet grass. There's red and white clover, buttercups milkweed, all kinds of good stuff in here. Asters. It's pretty diverse and it's pretty, pretty productive actually. It's really productive. There's a lot of tonnage here. Yesterday morning, I figured out what size of paddock I thought the cows should have. I gave it to them. Pretty, fairly square, a little bit rectangular shape. This is what I come to yesterday afternoon. It's grazed fairly well, but there's a lot of stuff sticking up. A lot of stuff sticking up yet. And whenever I graze something, I want it flat to the ground if I possibly can. Because we're going to recycle those nutrients back into the soil quicker if we can get it flat onto the ground. So they're here yesterday morning till around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And I seen what was going on, so we needed to adjust the paddock size. We did so. This is what we ended up with. This morning when I come over to move the cows, this here is what I consider a perfectly grazed pasture or paddock. You can see it's got really good manure distribution across it. And then we moved them in here this morning. And it's probably not quite as flat and not quite as much manure dis distributed across it. But it's, it's flat. It's flat to the ground. And we're going to go to a field and take a look what can happen if we put it flat on the ground. What my goal is is to put it flat on the ground to be recycled back into the soil if the cows aren't going to utilize those nutrients. And the reason for being for that is the quicker we can get those nutrients back into the soil, the quicker those plants can utilize those nutrients and make regrowth. And the regrowth is pretty important when it comes to the cows 
because we want we want regrowth for higher quality forage for the most part this is considered poor quality the cows are going through and they're getting the higher quality stuff and tramping the lower quality stuff recycling that back into the soil and that's adding soil nutrients as well as organic material and we want to try and add as much organic material as possible and being that this is wetland soil the organic material is going to be higher in it okay so this is where the cows are going to be until tomorrow morning and I expect to see something like this in the morning. I'm really pleased with how we're getting this knocked down. We'll graze this. This is the first graze for this field this year. We still have, I don't know, 35, 40 acres we haven't grazed yet. And I'm good with that. So that means we're going to make her later into the winter. Because the stuff we grazed it on in May or June... That stuff is so gone thick and beautiful. It's gonna make really, really good stockpile. Okay, well let's head over onto that field that we grazed approximately 15 days ago and look and see how well that plant material is breaking down and recycling back into the soil in the field that we grazed 15 days ago. But I wanted to show you a section. When we come into this field here, there's, there's a, a patch of trees here and we skipped over it this here is for what scout go get it this section here is saved for hot weather if we have hot weather where those cows need shade i can move them in here there's a couple days worth of grazing and what i'll do is i'll move them in in the afternoon and I'll take them back out in the morning and we'll section this off. There's, you know, four moves here probably, or four days if we have a string of hot weather up in the 90s or something, we'll bring them into here. We'll move them in the afternoon, either move them out in late evening or we'll move them out first thing in the, the next morning and kind of conserve this shaded area for those cows. Okay, let's take a look. I haven't looked at this field since we've grazed it. It's 15 days of regrowth on it. See it. We're in another nice tall stand of grass. It's my favorite type of grazing. <clears throat> Cows have lots of forage in front of them. We're able to tramp a lot of extra down to create a uh, cover for the soil help trap those that extra water that any water we get help keep the soil cool this is what we're leaving behind you can see cow pads are still pretty runny in this so-called poor quality forage but we leave we're trying to leave cover on here because here in about Oh, maybe 30 days or so we're gonna start gonna come in into our summertime slump see it it's nice beautiful green but we tramped a lot of when we came in here you can see here we're getting the the blades of grass this is gonna stockpile well oh man that's nice stuff the blades of grass let's take a look at what we actually tramped down See if I can find a, an area here <clears throat> and see how well it's breaking down. See here, all that material that we tramped down, it was very similar to what we had over at the other farm. There's not much of it left. It's all recycled back into the soil. And what isn't recycled? It is actually
protecting the soil but for the most part you don't see much of that stuff that's recycled back in and that's been 15 days ago now we've had a lot of a lot of rain here lately we probably have a lot more rain than we normally do this time of year but it's still starting to dry out a little bit and you can see here this grass has probably grown 16 inches the canary grass it's really growing it's got you now 24 inches of regrowth on it in 15 days actually not because we only grazed down about 8 to 10 inches so um you know we got about 12 inches of regrowth on in 15 days you can walk through here and, and take a look you know a lot of good things go on whenever we tramp that extra forage down so don't be afraid to leave a little behind you're not wasting anything you're actually protecting that soil you're helping conserve water you're preventing erosion you're adding organic material there's a lot of good things you're shading the soil to keep the soil temperature down this time of year um, you know, we need to keep that soil temperature below 80 degrees or the cool season grasses are gonna stop growing. So there's a lot of benefits to tramping some down and you know, don't be afraid to tramp some down because you're gonna come back to it. This here's gonna make beautiful winter stockpile for the cows this year. And the paddocks, the paddock that we, we grazed over at the other area, I forgot to talk about. Um, the section that we didn't get tramped down quite as good as I wanted to was more of a square paddock there's less foot traffic in a square area so there's less less compaction or less uh yeah compaction i guess you could say and then that next section over from me it was a longer skinnier narrow paddock smaller area where whenever the animals walk back and forth they uh tramp more down to the soil and you know my goal is to get that tramp down because that's the the quality you're going to have here you can see here they didn't get this tramp down they didn't get this section tramp down and you know that's soil fertilizer it's not being re recycled back into the soil for the plants to regrow on so keep that in mind okay guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment Share with a friend, hit that notification bell, check out the link below to our merchandise store, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day.